Good day and welcome back to another DBZ Doka Metal video. In this video, I thought we could take a look at what you can currently do on DBZ Doka Metal and we could also take a look at, of course, the current state of Dokan and maybe why it's a little bit drier than usual. Uh, so firstly, just there are a couple story events, the Majin Buu Saga units, the Extreme Z area, I'll link it up in the top right hand corner. Uh, there's plenty of great free to play units to get and you know, things to do from that perspective. So it is very, very good for you to do so. Uh, there's also some Extreme Z battles that you can do for stones, uh, which is always you know, a bit of a highlight, but we haven't got a new one, which is possibly why it also quite feels so dry. Uh, we haven't got a new EZA in a while. Um, you can always link level. Uh, I know it's not everyone's cup of tea. Uh, I'll have a little link in the top right hand corner to my auto link leveling video. Uh, but yeah, you can always link level. Uh, I mean, if you take a look, I I am busy working on LR, uh, Gohan and Trunks. So yeah, then you can increase your power level that way because link levels are the best way to increase your power level. Um, you can also currently farm some Kai's from the events as well. Uh, so if you look at the Dragon Ball story, uh, there is the GT event, the new GT event. Uh, you can get these little Apple medals and you can trade these in for some Kai's. Uh, you can also get some chocolates from the Majin Buu Saga event, uh, which we'll highlight just now. And you can trade those in as well uh, for some Kai's. So you know that's that's also something that you can do uh, but yeah but to be honest there's not too much going on especially if you're a veteran player barring link leveling uh, there's really not a surprising amount that is going on uh, right now in terms of dokan um, just to point it out to you that uh, you know this is the event that you can farm for chocolates uh, they drop from stage five here uh, and you can use some stamina here to to farm those or you can raise the super attack levels of your units. I mean, there is stuff always to do in Dokkan technically, uh, but whether it's enjoyable stuff is another you know, question entirely. Ultimate Clash, things like that, make sure you do all those events. Um, I know they're quite recently up, but you can definitely take them on. And yeah, uh, so I thought I'll just kind of link level in the background, but I thought I just talk about the current state of Dokkan, um, how it affects things and just in general what's going on. So obviously sometimes Dokkan does go through dry spells, uh, especially when the JP developers run into issues. I think it definitely you can kind of notice when we're struggling for content, uh, especially if there was supposed to be joint celebrations or joint events. Right now on Dokkan it feels like we're missing a story event like it just it feels like we're missing something there's supposed to be something else going on right now and a lot of people have speculated and I think it's a very fair shout uh, that the Dragon Ball superhero movie was supposed to come out you know sometime this month it was supposed to pretty much come out very soon and Possibly Dokkan was going to have like a tie-in event or something that was going to kind of like tie into the movie and we're going to have that story event up and possibly a small banner or something. We had something very similar happen when the uh, Broly movie came out. The games kind of did like a tie-in uh, and it kind of coincides a little bit with um, Legends, like if you look at Legends, Legends as well right now feels very bland. Uh, it, it's it got a little bit of content with the new trunks coming out and everything, but it, it, I wouldn't say it's necessarily overflowing with content. Um, and it feels like both games at this point are kind of almost like as if they'd planned for something else to happen. And I think that's where the idea that you know they had tie-in events with the Dragon Ball superhero movie um, kind of like being a thing and I think that's where a lot of people are getting that now for me as someone who makes Dokkan content yeah I can make plenty Dokkan content uh, I can still do link level 10 review videos I 
got the free to play challenge series i've got no item runs that i need to do so making content's not necessarily difficult for me uh, but you kind of lose a little bit of momentum in terms of people's interest in the games when these things happen uh, and it ha i mean it happens all the time you know people can't be interested in games throughout the year at the same rate they are like during anniversary we have a spike in views during yeah, worldwide celebration we have a spike in views a lot of dokan channels will gain more subs more views more of these things and during these similarly like kind of drier spells we also have slightly lower views than usual and it's just a natural thing dokan content's not really my job in any way shape or form it's just something i enjoy doing on the side so it doesn't really affect me a lot um directly i just notice a slight drop off in views it happens I never really get too fast I always try to do different stuff anyway or do new things or or whatever I really want because again I'm just really not too concerned I just enjoy making the content but yeah it, it definitely feels like right now Dokkan's in a bit of a dry spell and so Dokkan YouTubers are obviously also in a slight bit of limbo just because you know constantly making content or making different content is difficult when there's not a lot of hype around what you're making you know it's a lot easier to make like a lr you know mega super saiyan blue vegeto review video than it is to you know do uh the free to play no item run challenge of uh story mode quest stage 21 like it it is just uh, kind of a thing but I mean it, it is what it is I don't think it's necessarily a bad thing I always feel like downtime in these games people view them as bad things but for me uh, I see it as just a moment to take a break from playing Dokkan so much I mean obviously I just link level passively but I, I always feel like for players who are feeling overwhelmed or feeling kind of boxed in or have been playing Dokkan on and on and on especially new players this kind of gives you a good time to catch up which I always think is very good like it gives you time to catch up to kind of realign yourself and and just yeah to not have to focus on everything that's brand brand new that you can finally catch up on some story events you can catch up on you know some of the free to play units you can work on your teams you can try SBR you can try infinite dragon ball history and and yeah I think you know, downtime is not always a bad thing I think it allows new players to settle in I think it allows like your kind of intermediate players to settle in it's just veterans who maybe suffer the most but at the same time veterans are probably your least likely to leave so I mean it is what it is but yeah I just thought I'd give my thoughts and opinions on it um, just uh, to do a video just have a chat with you guys and just maybe get some of your thoughts and opinions back i mean i always appreciate it and i like talking to you guys in the comments and everything and yeah um but as we can see i got a link level 10 max out here so i'll i um yeah that's i mean i always enjoy those i can now start working on another one but yeah so thanks guys uh just for watching and just constantly supporting the channel even though sometimes it's a bit rough and yeah but leave a like if you enjoyed the video and i'll see you guys in the next one but until then bye